What's up my little biscuits, it's FKM Blue Waffle here, and today I'm going to be showing you the update of MC, Easy Minecraft Server Installer. A lot of you seem to like the first version, but now I'm sure that you guys are going to like the second version even more. So MC, MC version 1.1, you can find it at this website right here, mcinstaller.info, it's the actual website for the program itself. Um, the link will be in the description. As you can see, it's been downloaded 134 times. Um, so, you can see here, it shows some screenshots. Um, oh, sorry about that. It talks about some of the updates as well. So, um, all you have to do is click this big green download button. You can't miss it. And then, your download will start. All this is saying is that it's not a common downloaded program. So, it's just saying, be warned. But there's nothing to be worried about because there's nothing wrong with the program itself. So all you have to do is hit keep. Uh, as you can see, I've already downloaded it three times because I've had to do this recording about three times because my software keeps messing up. But um, all you're going to want to do is save it to your desktop. And then you're going to want to create a new folder. You can name it whatever you want. I just name it uh, server. And then all you're going to want to do is export the files to the folder itself alright so now you can download or you can delete the raw file if you want to because it's not needed but if you open up the server folder as you can see it's just the main program and the uh, dev components so all you're going to do is open up the main program you can minimize the folder if you want I'm not sure if I opened it. I think I just changed the name. We'll see. Hold on. Alright. Now it's opening. Alright. So now that it's open, you're going to see that the main page is has been changed a lot so first thing I'm going to talk about is the color schemes that you can edit them and everything so I'm just going to change the color to a light blue and as you can see now the background is a light blue like the edges and also the buttons will be changed as well so all you're going to do is click step one uh, check the requirements this is going to check if you have Java on your computer, and if you don't, you're going to get a red X on like this green check mark, and it'll give you a link to download it. So now, as you can see, step two, the button's blue. Just click step two, and now you can come over here to choose settings. Oh, first I'm going to talk about the donator. You can click that, and it'll and you can donate to the program, so we can keep popping out more updates and change things that you guys enjoy. Um, and credits, it just it shows everyone who's ever uh, donated and it also shows all the beta testers it's just giving thanks to everybody alright so now we can go over to step two alright step two um, it starts out with eight you can give up to eight gigs of RAM manually to the server or automatically and then um, as you can see right here enable craft bucket yes uh, Jerry has installed craft bucket to the server so now you can install plugins and everything so that's also good um... you can also click here enable custom on a ram so if you want more than eight gigs hey guys thanks for watching please be sure to click one of the two video links down below to see some more of our content also please click that like button down below if you enjoyed the video and while downloading this program if you find any uh, errors or bugs please be sure to leave them down in the comment section below so we know what to fix and as always guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.